Back on Sports Pit, Paulie and Teddy. Time for a big game breakdown. As always, live odds, sportsbookreview.com. The 24-hour marathon continues on ESPN with a great doubleheader from Madison Square Garden, the Champions Classic. Let's start with Michigan State and Kentucky. Kentucky 7.5, 153.5 the total. You already see some, I've seen some early over money in this one. Spartans played good defense in the loss to Arizona. They only allowed 65 points, 38% shooting for the Wildcats, and they forced 14 turnovers. Great quote from Izzo. Really good quote. I think this will be one of the best teams we've played in years. I'm anxious to see how we compete, but I still like this team. I like them a lot. I think we've got as good a chance as anybody to win tomorrow night. We're not going to win by fouling. We're not going to win by turning the ball over. Those will be two critical things in taking bad shots because they can get it from one end to the other better than uh, because they can get it from one end to the other better than any Kentucky team that we played. Again, this will be a great quote. This will be a track meet. I don't see a lot of half court in this game. End quote there from Izzo. Teddy, you as usual here with Kentucky. They just reload, and it's a whole new cast of players. Yeah, I, I mean, for Sparty, I was impressed with Sparty in the opener to Arizona. You know, uh, when you talk about those 14 turnovers, remember, they only allowed seven assists in that ball game, so they really got it done playing half-court defense. Offensively, they struggled. You know, Miles Bridges scored 21. No one else reached double digits uh, for the Spartans in that contest. But when you look at the Kentucky side of the equation, it's complete rebuild. I mean, it's... <laughs> Uh, Coach Cal gets the talent, but at the beginning of the season, it's young, it's raw. I mean, they're starting three freshmen. You know, Idrisi Adebayo, uh, Malik Monk, let me get the picture here, Malik Monk, I should say, and Aaron Fox. The sixth man, uh, Wenyan Gabriel, he's likely to be starting at some point this season. The senior Derek Willis starting ahead of Gabriel for now, but uh, I don't think it's necessarily going to last that long. So the veteran. Starter, <laughs> you know, sophomore Isaiah Briscoe, a very, very young Wildcats team. And uh, I don't, they don't have a whole lot of depth so far. Only seven players got double digit minutes, and that was in a blowout win over Canisius. Yes. Calipari was asked if his freshmen are ready. Quote, I have no idea. They may pee down their legs. End quote. <laughs> uh, he's also, we've got good players. That's not what wins. When asked what wins, he said the grind, the toughness, the grittiness, setting good screens, all the little things, the offensive rebound attempts, saying I'm not getting beat to a ball, the ball. So there's good stuff there from Coach Cal. Who knows? Who knows what to expect coming up tonight? Well, I mean, at this stage, you know, the the era in which we said, oh, the freshmen are going to pee down their legs, that era's come and gone. You know, that era ended 25 years ago with the Fab Five in Michigan and hasn't been back. The freshmen, four uh, Coach Cal, uh, I, I mean, come on. These guys have played more big games in big venues in high school than, you know, your average senior at a, you know, a, a mid-major school, for example. These kids are battle-tested. They're ready. I don't see them pissing down their legs when they go to a place like Madison Square Garden. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.